everybody. Today for cooking, we are going to make hot cocoa crispy squares. So what you're going to need for that, you are going to need some butter, some marshmallows, both big and little. Um, I chose to get cocoa crispies, but you can get cocoa pebbles or any other cocoa cereal. Um, cocoa puffs would probably work as well. They'll just be balls instead of crispies. Um, some hot cocoa mix. Uh, it says a packet, but we have this giant container that I've had for a couple years, and so we're just going to keep using out of this giant container. Um, you're going to need the stove and a pan to, to heat things up in. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to melt the butter in our pan. Okay. Oh, you also need um, baking spray to grease your 9x13 pan. Alright, so... I'm going to melt my butter. And you know what guys, I'm going to pause this video while that melts. So that way you don't have to watch it melt. Alright guys, so our butter is mostly melted. So I'm going to add in our marshmallows. Now, it calls for 10 ounces of marshmallows. But I couldn't find a 10 ounce bag, I found a 12 ounce bag. So I'm just going to add in most of the marshmallows instead of all of the marshmallows. Alright. And then those are going to melt down as well. And mix in with the butter. And you can hear them sizzling. I'll pause the video so you guys don't have to watch those melt either. Alright guys, so my marshmallows are almost completely melted. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in six cups of the Cocoa Krispies. Okay? So, and I'm just going to add it right to this pan. So I am going to move my pan off the heat. So I'll also tilt it down just a little bit. There you go. Um, it does say to melt your butter and your marshmallows over top of low heat. So, otherwise it'll turn brown like this one. Alright, so we're going to add in those co six cups of Cocoa Krispies and mix it together. Okay. And it's going to be sticky and ooey and gooey. You just got to keep mixing it around until all of your Rice Krispies are covered with marshmallow. Now, if you think that these are too sticky, you can always add in some more Rice Krispies. Um, if you think they're not sticky enough, you can always melt down some marshmallow and add in some marshmallow. That's all up to you and how you want to do it. Okay, so now the next thing. We're going to take this glob of chocolatey gooeyness and we're going to put it into a greased 9 by 13 pan. Okay? So, I'm going to spin my pan here. I'm going to tip my other pan and just scoop it right in there. Okay? All right. So much gooey. Okay. Now I'm going to scrape my pan over here with my spoon to make sure I get all of the gooey goodness. All right. And then we'll move it over here. And, these are really gooey, we're going to push them down into the pan, okay? Now to do that, I'm going to grab my measuring cup, 
and I'm going to spray it with the cooking spray so that way it doesn't stick. All right, and now I'm just going to take it and I'm going to push down and push it into the corners and all around. Try and make it as even as I possibly can, which can be difficult sometimes, especially when you're trying to use a round utensil in a square pan. All right, so those look pretty even to me. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take those mini marshmallows that you've got, and it calls for two cups, but I'm just gonna guess, and I'm just gonna sprinkle my mini marshmallows on top of my Rice Krispie Treats. All right, they wanna come out of the bag. Alright, so now that I have my marshmallows spread around the top, I'm going to push them down a little bit. Not a whole, whole lot, just enough. And then now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my hot chocolate mix and I'm going to sprinkle it on the top. Okay. Um, now if you've got a packet, uh, you can definitely use that to sprinkle your hot chocolate mix. Um, and it'll probably be easier. Just sprinkle it with your with your packet. Okay, you're just gonna dust the top with your hot chocolate mix. Okay. Make sure to try and cover up the marshmallows. And you know, if it isn't completely covered, that is just fine. It is however you guys want to do it. So that is how you make your hot cocoa crispy squares. I hope you guys uh, enjoy the smells that come out of it, and I hope you guys enjoy the sounds, and if you can taste it, I hope you enjoy the taste. And I hope you have a wonderful day.